Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where we are once again checking out the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. This is a Porsche GT3 Cup mod I've bought off of the store with a set of Porsche, uh, Porsche Carrera Cup. There we go, get it out. Uh, Australia skins from last year. So we are at Darwin, um, otherwise known as the Hidden Valley Raceway. We're going to be doing a 10 lap race and I am starting off of 11th. I have just done a quick sort of practice race just to see what it's like, make sure it all works and I finished 11th so I thought may as well start off 11th once again. In terms of this mod itself, the car that um, Studio 397 or whoever it is that makes these uh, payware mods for R Factor 2 have... I would say have not done too good a job with this mod. I don't think it's actually that realistic. I have driven one of these cars in real life once before and um, I just, yeah, compared to a lot, because there are a lot of other GT3 Cup cars uh, that out there on other sims like iRacing and and or Race Room. They're, they're virtually a GT3 Cup car in every single um, sim racing game out there right now. So you have plenty to sort of compare to. And yeah, I, I wouldn't rate this as one of the better ones. However, it is still a lot of fun and we can drive it in sort of a track that you wouldn't really get in any other um or on a track that you wouldn't really get on any other sim so anyway without any further ado i'm gonna jump onto the grid quickly run through this uh, sort of formation lap all righty here we go porsche Carrera cup australia around hidden valley raceway looking for the lights there they are oh what a getaway Whoa. guy in front of me didn't get anywhere near as good a getaway as what we have uh like four wide going into turn one. Oh, just bent in his rear bumper, but anyway, around the outside if you don't mind. Right, survive turn one. Now we go through this fast little right left for the real stop start section. Uh -uh. up to you. Uh, I don't know why but my overlay is not working for some reason. We're running eighth. Now I've set it to typical Darwin weather which means that it is hot and we oh we got a yellow flag. Oh, Alright came out of nowhere. So, uh, yeah, it is like 36, 35 degrees, but we're going to form up behind the safety car and we'll go again. Only one lap under safety car in the end, or two laps, so good quick turnaround. Here we go, back to green flag racing. Wait for the leader to go. Oh no, we passed before the start finish line. What an idiot. I totally forgot you can't do that in R Factor 2. Alright, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna stop, go. Damn it. Let's yeah, just see how many guys we can race here on this one lap. Oh, hold on to it. Banging. Uh -oh. No. Ah. Jeez, man, <laughs> his AI are ridiculously crazy. We'll get it done now. Ah, oh, that's completely screwed us over. That as, what an idiot!
Man, this track is slick. Well, at least my overlay started working. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. Be -do. Be -do, be -do, be -do. Uh, turn one is freaking terrible. Well, this is fun. Can't believe I went and did that. If I could hit that apex once in this race, that'd be lovely. <laughs> oh, all right. Free spot. Woohoo! You know, this mod, I don't know what it is. It just feels like there's just no grip, like, whatsoever. Like, it doesn't want to turn. It doesn't want to put its foot down. I mean, the suspension sort of feels somewhat realistic, but I don't know. Plus, there's not really much you can change with this car. Like, there isn't actually in real life, but even on r 2, what they've made um, available to you, for you to actually change setup-wise is very minimal. So I can't fix a whole lot. But, I don't know, I think it's mainly the steering and geometry. It just feels all sort of out of whack. And we've got a slow sort of back marker here that hopefully we can grab. Okay, Indiran Padayachi, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. This guy um, is the father of the guy that used to run my karting team when I was racing in what's called KZ2 in Australia. Which is a six-speed gearbox car, it's freaking unreal. Like, 
tear your head off, unreal. Anyway, check flags out. We uh, didn't get him in the end. Wow, that was a lot. I didn't realize we were even on the last lap there. Wow, all right. Well, uh, not the best of races. <laughs> we got sort of screwed over with that penalty, and yeah, we were just way too far back to mount any sort of challenge, but still a little bit of fun in the Carrera Cup. I mean, I, as much as I don't think this mod is all that realistic, I do find it quite fun to drive because it is Porsche Cup cars around a track in Australia that you probably wouldn't find on many other sims. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned tomorrow where I'm going to be hitting up Hidden Valley in a supercar. Running sort of a recreation of the round that took place here last year. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to head back here this year. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, stay tuned for that. And yeah, until then, I'll catch you guys later.